Hey guys, what's up? It's XS here, and I'm just here because, well, I thought that I'd teach you a little bit of programming, I guess. Consider the fact that in my last video on my Minecraft Let's Play, I did say something about that, so. To start off, we're going to be learning Batch. Now, I do know a lot about this, but I don't know every single thing, but I'll keep you guys updated on some of the things that I do get to know. Um, yeah, so the I'm using Notepad++ for this, which is very handy. It highlights like different things like your variables and whatnot. So I'm going to teach you guys how to get that first, and the link will of course be in the description if you're having trouble seeing on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, of course, well, we're already on Google, so just search Notepad++. Pad++. And it's the first one, and then you'll be taken to this website. So yeah, now all you have to do is just go to download and click the installer for the latest version. Of course, there's a new version released on May 28th. I don't think I got that one, but I will be sure on getting it. Yeah. But yeah, that's how you get it. You download it, install it. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. Just click next a bunch of times and you're done. Okay, so and then you have this. Now, batch programming. It's ran in this right here, your command prompt. And to get this, if you hit the Windows key and R, you have this to come up. And then you just type in CMD and hit enter, and it launches it. So now, this is like the 2009 version, obviously. Um, you can type in help, I think it is. And then you get a list of every single command, and you can literally teach yourself if you want to. But for help, I'm just going to help you guys with this stuff. Um, colors are also a very good thing, but we'll get into that later. Well, no, why don't we do it now, because we're going to have to do that to set it. Alright, so if you type in colors... Right, just color, and then space slash h, right, slash question mark, sorry, and then hit enter. You can get all of this stuff, and color attributes are specified by two hex digits. The first corresponds to the background, so if I were to put, hold on a second, the second, the foreground. So the background would be your first digit, and your second would be your text. So if you were to put, say, zero C then you would have a black background with almost red text like this color space zero C yeah see right there and you can make it like mm, color zero F I've never used this before but uh, it looks a little bright to me not too much though or color zero D <laughs> But yeah, you can do whatever you want with that. But all your programs are run in this command prompt right here. So, let's get started. Um, the first thing you're going to need is the um, basic simple command. And it's used to make sure that like, whenever you launch command prompt, you'll see all this stuff right here. And you, we don't want to see that whenever we launch our program. We want to turn it off. So here's how we do that. We type the at sign, echo, right after it, no space, and then you space, and then type in off. Now, in this programming language, in this programming language, you don't need any semicolons, anything like that at the end of the line. You just hit enter, enter, and you're on to your next line. So, as we can see, this will do this. Now you can't see, like, our C users and whatnot. We can't see that, so you can just keep typing stuff. We won't ever see that until we type echo on, which will turn all that back on so we can just type in random crap. And what did I do? <laughs> oh, I gotta see what I entered to do that. SC is a command line program used for communicating with the service control man. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now, the next thing that you can do is, I'm just going to open this for more reference, um, you can set the title of the window itself. So, say we wanted to call it, um, I'm learning, type in title, and then after that, I'm learning, 
I don't know where I heard that from. I think one of my friends told me that whenever I was teaching him how to mod Minecraft. Or how to make mods for Minecraft, anyway. But yeah. So, as we can see, if we go in here and we type in title... Blah, 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 well, yeah. DRFV and then DRFV. Like that. See? Yeah. And why did I close it? Alright. Back to you. So, that's going to be our title. Now usually what people start doing is they just start writing their program like that but you don't want to do that sorry guys um normally if you're making a good program you want to start with a main loop so then you type in colon main like that that starts you in a loop now it'll highlight in yellow so that way you can know where each section is now let's start off with a simple command to start out with. We're, go we're going to start out with the echo command, which basically prints stuff all off on the screen. So let's go ahead and type echo. Um, let's see, what do we want to type? LOL WTF barbecue. Yeah, there we go. That's what that's what's going to echo out. Now let's make it echo something else out. LOL above me. I don't know. Stupid, but hey, gotta test this, right? So now, after we've done that, what we need to do in order for this to run properly and not exit out of the window on its own after we run it, we need to type pause right there. If we don't do that, then what it's going to do is it's going to open the window and then after like half a second, we're going to close it right back. So what we want to do is we're going to save this and I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Um, you tube and then save it as a dot bat if you select up here in the language and on the drop down list you select batch it'll also work that way too so now we, we saved it we're at seven minutes already yada 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 we exit out of this now if we double click on it it says lol wtf barbecue lol above me and that says press any key to continue we didn't write this but the pause command does that so yeah um, I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. Um, how to skip lines, if you want to know how to do that for simple, you just type in echo with a dot like that. And now if we save this, and then we run this, now there's a blank space in between that. So that's your first tutorial for the day, guys. Hope you liked it, and I'm going to be uploading more of these, of course, because... I did try and make one of these before and I kind of failed, so, well, not on this channel anyway, but yeah. Alright, so yeah, have a nice day everybody, and I'll see you in part two.